Shabbat Shalom, and welcome to this special edition of PowerPoints where we're dealing and celebrating with the removal of fear from our life in every area of our life. The Lord said that in the Word it says that we, He called on the Lord and the Lord delivered us from all our fear. Would you say with me, all my fear? Now, I want to give you an assignment for this week and, uh, and I want you to send this, these PowerPoints, I want you to send them to a friend. You need to have a PowerPoint partner. With, with this particular series, you need someone, just one person to be accountable with and say, we're going through all 50, we're going to have a jubilee, and we're going to actually track the breakthrough. But now, I'm going to give you some homework this week. And it's in Psalms 34, and it says in verse 8, O oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is, a man, blessed is a man who trusts in the Lord. I want you and your, your partner to identify one area in the Lord where you struggle trusting the Lord. Where you actually, when the circumstances come, you actually react and try to fix it. And I want you to not react and I want you to trust in the Lord so that you can taste and see that the Lord is good. Tasting is a sensory-based thing. Tasting isn't faith. If, if I was to give you a piece of chocolate, it, there's no faith in it. You put it in your mouth, it starts to melt all over the inside of your mouth, stick to the roof of your mouth, all over your tongue. It is a, I think it's a God experience. <laughs> if it's great chocolate, it's just, it's a moment. You just, hmm, I can taste it right now. I'm faking my own self out. It's powerful. You can taste it. That's what trust in God. Trust in God is like chocolate. It just melts in your mouth and it makes you feel good. And it, it just, it's, it's a great thing, but you have to do it. So I'm just going to give you an example. You have a child. You have a difficult situation. And every time the child gets in trouble, they call mommy, mommy, mommy. And, or they call daddy, daddy, daddy. And your job is the rescuer. You bail them out every time. So this week, I'm going to ask you and your accountability partner, don't rescue them. When the phone calls, say this magic word, no. And then when you say no, you hang up the phone and you call your partner with getting free from fear and immediately go in and start decreeing the scriptures that we have been saying and say, Father God, I choose to trust in you with this child, Billy. And Father God, I thank you, Lord, that he is going to cry out to the Lord and you're going to watch a change in that child because see that child has been operating pushing your button and pulling your string codependently and controlling you with fear that he won't love you well he will love you in fact he'll love you and respect you when you tell him no enough's enough and then back it up with prayer and then everything will turn all right with that child and then it's like chocolate in your mouth you go hmm this is better to trust God with this child than to constantly have this child pulling me like a puppet so, Father God, I set this person free, each one of you, that whatever it is, it may be with money, oh, it's all in every area. Find something that you can trust in, speak it out with your mouth, confess it, and say, let's watch God show off this week. God bless. I'll talk to you later.